Hello and welcome to lesson 9 in the creation of our school management system. And in this lesson, we are going to design the interface of our admission receipt. So just uh, let's just uh, dive right into it just to speed up things and all that. So we need another sheet basically for that. So we just um, click on this plus sign to assign a new sheet for that. So you just double click it to rename it as ADM dot fee or ADM dot receipts that is admission receipt so we are good to go with this so we need the designing interface <coughs> here but before we do that let's just uh, go to file and we just check on print preview just to get um, the, the, the shape where the print preview will be on on the sheet so that will guide us on how or the positioning of the red of the receipt on the sheet so we just go there you can see we have nothing here actually we don't expect anything because we haven't added anything on the sheet so we just uh, have to close this back and then you get what i'm talking about so this is exactly what i'm talking about the line here is what i'm expecting so this line will guide us to know exactly where the the design of the receipt interface should should be should be up to when it exceeds this line it means in the print preview section part of it will be out it will be printed so that is what we need to take good care of so you go to print you go to file and you go to print so this and um, after that you just come back and you get this what they call a borderline giving you the the, the the print preview the range so you just have to consider that before you begin the designing process so let's dive right into it so the various information we need on the receipt include admission number uh, admission number the name the class the gender date of birth and the date of admission, admission fee, guardian name, and then address, as well as the contact, and then the head teacher signature, as well as the assistant teacher signature, whatever, or whoever has to sign the admission receipt, assign the name there as well. So basically, that is that. Just to speed up things, we're going to design the first row, and then we copy it and then paste it for the others. So let's just check on how to do that. So we just type here. ADM number that is admission number you know so we just jump this uh, particular uh, what do you call it um, let's say this sheet we can just jump this one as well we jump this and then jump this as well so that we can have the admission that that is a date of admission here that is DOA that will be okay for us so we can now have some extensions here so let's just extend it a bit that is admission number here and also here we have a, a date of admission we can just extend it a bit as well so we can also open up uh, this session a bit just to get a yeah so i think this looks okay that uh, so we consider the print preview as i said earlier so we just have to take note of that we can just organize it so let's just uh, select this to this range yes i think this looks okay and then let's let me just say a bit okay this is okay and then admission number here this looks okay so let's just begin the formatting process so we just change the font style to times to times new roman so you can just uh, bold it as well you can increase the font size uh, a bit let's do this and this looks okay good so okay let me just decrease it it's too big i think this looks this looks better so let's just try to merge at this center and center this so we have the the text here and then here also we need um let's just see the this and this should be equal so here we need the text where the text will be so let me just check on something here before we proceed okay so let's just squeeze here a bit and then squeeze here to a bit squeeze here to a bit we we'll have enough space here for the uh, designing so let's just uh, add this here or something like this good i think we can just merge this as well in center let's just be very careful and take good care of the and take good uh, we, so that we consider the, the print preview that is what i'm 
just check him so we just have to be very careful on that so let's just type some random information here let's check on print free to see how it looks like so we go to print so it means with this we can still have our information up and running on the receipt so let's just go back and check so we're good to go from here so you can just delete this now so let's just go ahead and add some little formatting stuffs and then we'll be good to go from there so uh, let's just check on how this is going to look like so i think um, okay so let's just format this so just click on this to select it then press and hold control key on the keyboard and select this as well so let me just extend this one a bit so let's give it a format so we want the text to be center then we want to give it a background color or let's see this color looks okay i think this is okay so we can just uh, decrease the row size a bit this looks good okay let's select this as well as this now let's just go to um, cell style so let's just choose heading to have this so that we can type our display our text and other stuff here and all that so that is what we want here so i think this looks okay so let's just copy this and then paste 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 and then we'll be good to go just to speed up uh work so that is a uh, let's just select the entire row control c to copy this and then uh, let's come to between eight and nine so here control v to paste let's just click here and then keep column source width and all that let's just right click or click here and then keep source column width so we're good to go so we come to we jump the 10 we come to 11 then control v to paste as well so we keep source column width so we come to the 13th cell control v so yes do this and then uh, we come to uh 15th that is the 15th row as well control v so i think we are good to go so with the 18th and then all this side we need the uh, the column for head teacher signature as well as that of the assistant or whoever has to sign so let's just press the space bar to clear the selection so let's just increase here a bit good this looks okay. okay let's just try to adjust it a bit yeah, it looks good okay 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 this as well looks good so i think uh, it's it's working perfectly for us now the next thing we need to do is let's just check on the, the headings so let's just select the entire column here let's just jump one of this and then let's increase the size yeah a bit let's give it a background color like um i think this color will be ideal so we can have our text up and running here so let's go to the first one let's just type the name of the school uh, i prefer can take coding clinic good so you can just um, select all this and i can just merge and center and then format it appropriately let me increase the font size a bit let me bold it change the font style so that should be the name of your school there instead so you can just increase it a bit so this looks okay so we now have here as our maybe box number or whatever so b o, box or whatever number you can add go ahead and do that sorry this should be in caps right so let's just say b o, box and then all this good so you can just match this as well in center and then format it appropriately so let's just change the font style to times new roman let's increase the font size a bit let's bold it now if your institution has an email address then you can add it here so i will go for king tech coding sorry there shouldn't be space coding clinic at g build.com so you're good to go here too so you can just select the entire text here <laughs> and then we can just uh, uh, let's say bold it 
change the font style times new roman increase the font size a bit uh, the color is a bit and uh, uh, we're going to fix that right away so this is merge and center so merge and center it perfectly so merge and center now this looks okay too so this is okay this is okay so we add something stuff here like uh, let's say admission receipts and blah blah things like that uh, this is high, where it's going to be so here we can add something like okay official admission receipt good so we can just select the entire oh, sorry we just need this just have to um, merge and center it increase the font size a bit then uh, change the font style I think this looks okay so we can just decrease it from here in this app so you can still increase the font size you can bold it as well so this looks good so with this everything is working perfectly and then we are on course so now let's just check on the background color here and see if possible let's change it and see what it's going to look like uh, don't we, why don't you go for this color and so this looks appropriate or this okay, this looks good i think it's it's okay with this color so we are good here so now let's just go ahead and get a column for the head teacher signature as well as whoever has to sign the document so come this way you can merge okay let's just type head teacher you can just put it in caps this is signature so you can just measure all this and center have that up and running okay so you can just merge it and center it you can just format it appropriately by changing the font style to times new roman okay let's decrease the font size of it to have it fit there so that we don't stress of ourselves so let's just bold it good so this looks okay um, so let's create a column for that so we just uh, select this then just merge it in center and this looks okay so let's select it again and give it top and um, thin border and then bottom thick border that looks okay so after selecting it just locate uh, top and thick bottom border so let's just select that so this gives us a thin line at the top and then thick at the bottom so why don't we just copy this control c to copy let's just come this way okay this way right so control v to paste let's just keep a source column with doing this i think this looks okay haven't i stress of this okay let me undo that action and see something okay okay so we do so this is okay so let's just press the space button a space key on the keyboard just to um, see now let's just check the print preview once again and see whether we are on course so let's because we have to consider all these factors just to make sure that we have everything appearing on the receipts at least it's working perfectly for us as well so let's just increase this here just to get enough space at the top and all that so this looks better and better good we are okay with this so i think this is perfectly Okay, so let us go ahead and then add our buttons here and then the search um, box where we can do the search of the information of whoever has to take the admission receipt. So uh, to do that, let's just come this way and then uh, let's just select the whole of this. Okay, let's just start from here. Select after this and then let's just give it a complete uh, background color like um, in light green will be ideal. Let's locate it and then we are good to go from here. So let's just give this our let's see, let's take here the text box should be here we'll be doing the search so let's just um, select all this let's merge it and center okay now let's change the, the background color of the, the column there let's see let's give it white okay now we did select it again let's just go to cell style now let's give it heading so that we have something like this where we can type the number or the admission number of the student and then every information about the student will pop up here 
we're going to add uh, the various formulas that will um, help us achieve that so we go ahead and then let's merge this in center as well so we go in here let's just see the background color as well so let's just give it a color like this so let's just type inside search so let's select it again and format it appropriately so let's just change the uh, text color to white change the font times new roman let's bold it let's increase the font size a bit so i think this looks okay perfectly so we type any number here and we can search for it click on this and search for the information of the students of whoever has to take the receipt now let's just go ahead and add the, the two buttons the print button as well as the home button so let's go to insert tab you go to um, shapes so you pick this shape and then just uh, draw the shape here we have print receipt so we can just edit this right click and edit test we can just type print receipts so this looks okay so you can just select this and then uh, let's just format it separately let's just go to home tab let's center it let's change the font style times new roman let's bold it let's increase the let's center it appropriately but let's maintain the, the this font size okay let's format it again so let's just go to the format tab here and check from this angle and see what we can or how we can format it to make it look good so i think this looks okay so why don't we just um, control select it control c to copy then control v to paste so we have the same size to the other one so we can have this here so why don't we edit the test to home so i think we can just say uh, format it appropriately so let's just check from here and we give it this and then that looks okay too so we trigger this so let's, let's just right click on it and go to um, hyperlink and choose home as usual so make sure place in this document is selected and click on home and then click on this so now when we trigger this button we come home so let's just go ahead and then go back to the admission receipt let me just check now let's assign a tab color to this so let's just give it a this color looks okay we have our admission receipt up and running so i think um we are done with this so we'll end this lesson here in our next lesson we're going to design the interface of our that is a fees uh, for fees fees payment receipt so don't forget to save your work control s that's the action and then for our next lesson i say thank you very much for watching and then bye for now